All right, Jimmy, so give us a rundown of what we're doing here today. So today we're doing some flat water paddle ups. We've got a little bit of wind, it looks like it's died actually, so it's gonna be pure flat water. <laughs> I've got my 850S, um, so the new code. Shells. Come on, eh? <laughs> Look at the 850. I don't think many people have seen this in the flesh, so. Yeah, so it's just, did, came away pretty well unscathed in the Maldives. I was worried I was gonna scratch it up. But um, yeah, that's the 850. That's about to release. In like the 28th now, it should be released sort of mid to late June. And sort of excited to show, show it off. In the flat water here, 75 mast medium fuse and a 150 AR tail, which has more scratches in the front. <laughs> but the main thing I want to test today was keep the foil the same, but then I'm going to try out, I got a 7.2 by 18, it's the new prone aviator. I've got a 7.6 by 18 and then a 8.0 by 18. And the volume, it's like 125, 115, and then like 105, thereabouts. These are quite, Bigger than your normal boards, right? Yeah, normally I use a 610 of this and it's 95 litres. So these are bigger and I'm just seeing if it's worth me going bigger. Um, in the, I have paddled up my 610 in the flat order, but it wasn't easy. Um, so I just got a shipment of boards and I got to test them out. So, yeah. What's the best advice of like when you've got new gear? What would you start it on? Uh, flat water. Yeah. Control the variables. Um, I, I, look, obviously it's more fun than to practice in the waves or in the surf but um, or in like little downwind conditions but because there's already three different boards different different lengths different volume same width um, it's a really controlled variable it's flat and it's not changing so you're going to be able to tell the difference of and, what works and what doesn't and what what are you hoping to like what's going to decide a better board from the other um, well, it's, it's a hard one because it, it's two things it's the paddle up how, how it gets up and going then, then how it pumps once up and going so obviously the 8 foot by 18 should be the easiest to get up, it's the highest volume, it's the longest. Um, but once up, and obviously it's a little bit more weight, but once up it, it may be worse to pump and worse to manoeuvre. So I'm kind of just testing the paddle up ability here, and then I'll probably test them in the surf or downwind for how they turn and manoeuvre. Because you don't want a board that paddles up really easy, but you can't turn it. Um, or, or the weight makes it harder to, you know, get going in lighter conditions. So it's find that happy medium enough to get up easily, but not so easy to get up the time on track. Sleep. All right. What did you feel then on your first two paddle ups? I just felt like I um, wasn't getting any any movement out of the foil. So whether it was not enough speed or I was standing too far forward. So if I'm here, it's really hard to create leverage and get the lift. So I'm moving the foil further forward to try and... That far forward, Jesus. Five and a half. You're just doing the extremes to kind of see? Well, it's a centimeter and a half from where I just was. Yeah. So it's pretty much to the front of the box. I got another, I could go there, but that's a bit overkill, I think. I think just there, five and a half. Let's see how that feels, and if I can't get it up, it'll be a good test to see if I can get the longer version to see if it's easier. I noticed by putting the mast too far forward, it actually makes the paddle up even harder because like, it just does weird squiggly things before you even get any speed. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. starts to lift too early. Yeah, yeah. and I, I did that the other day on a long downwind and it absolutely f***ed me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, there's a happy medium. Yeah. Um, there's the balance test, which I'll do now. JB? 
Yeah, Jamie. So he goes from a third. Right. Wait, wait, wait. So JB goes the balance test, which is center of lift, which is different on all foils. Um, if I was to go from a third, see how it's quite nose up. Yep. But if I go from sort of towards the back third, close to flat. So different foils, different lifting profiles. So where do you want to pick it up from, the back third? Well, I don't know exactly that you'll have to... Generally speaking, the, the, the foils with a bit more, uh, like a slower foil section, I guess, a bit more camber in it. Yeah. Generally, it's closer to half, so that's about half. So that's pretty close to flat. Yeah. And the board's flat, whereas if I was going from the third, not so much. Yeah. So, for different foil sections, different theories, but... Let's see how I'm going from half. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out there, man. <laughs> All right, what's the, uh, that was a successful run at moving the mast forward on the last board. Yeah, made a big difference. Yeah. So now you're going the next size up. Yeah, so 7.6 now. And it should be easier, right? Yeah. But I think it shows how important positioning is. We're going to go the same. But the same isn't necessarily the same because the boxes are... Far forward. Proportional yeah. to, to the board. So I'm going five and a half. Looks Yeah, she looks pretty similar. Looks pretty similar, eh? Yeah. Just longer in the nose. Yeah. So that's a little bit longer in the tail, but yeah. Um proportional for sure. What do you feel besides, you know, it being a little bit tricky to paddle up when you first didn't have the mast in the right position? Oh, by having it that little bit further forward made all the difference. From the first stroke, I actually felt like I had to get further forward to prevent it from lifting up on me. All right. When I moved I forward. seen that with your footwork. I was yeah. watching on the drone. Like a little adjustment, which um, shows how important placement is. Um, the same test. What about feels? Like when you were on foil, did it feel similar to your last model boards that you've been riding SUP? Um, to be honest, I felt like I was so underdone, like yeah. flat water wise. I probably wasn't going quick enough. Right. There's a fair bit of current running, so I'm paddling fast, but it's all relative to the current. So it might be better off going against yeah, it. Yeah, paddle against it. <laughs> the against then you're paddling the in the wind, yeah. yeah. So I keep going the same way just to, yeah. to keep things the same. But um, the 7 6 should be easier. Yeah. Like um, the first paddle up, it was easier. Yeah. Maybe the second paddle up, you're out of juice. I ran out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I could tell in the yeah the second paddle up. My feet weren't in the right quite right spot either. I feel like a shorter fuse could be um because I'm like I'm just getting quick enough. Right. The pumps are like sort of long, and I'm probably pumping too fast to try to get it up. So a shorter fuse would probably make it easier because I'm like. Right on the edge of not being able to get up. So this is definitely easier than the 7.2. A shorter fuse would create like a quicker ollie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I actually need to like extend the up 
but I feel like if I extend the app for too long, I lose my speed. So a shorter fuse would allow me to yeah. like, sort of bunny hop it up rather, I get, yeah. Than, yeah. rather than porpoise it up. Yeah. So like Which is kind of what you need with these smaller, high aspect foils, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Feels like that for sure. Yeah. So, but definitely the 7.2 was easier than the, oh, sorry, 7.6 was easier than the 7.2. So I'm hoping the 8.0s. You felt like more board speed? Yeah. I didn't pump away as nicely though. No, you didn't. But I reckon that's just because you're out of steam. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did it feel pumping? Like, to get up on foil? I mean, like, when you were on foil, did it feel weird how long it was? Oh, I was never really... We were pumping around for too long. I wasn't yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was saying before, like, to do the pump test, I think it's better in the waves. So right. Downwind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here, um, yeah. like, just, just enough to get it up. Yeah. And then I'm kind of... With the, with the pump to get it up, like, increasing height costs speed. And the higher I get, the slower I get. So it's... Pretty much stalling out as soon as I'm um, yeah. ready to go. Alright. So, what's the, um, what paddle are you using? Well, I'm using a code paddle. This is a prototype. Um, it's a, uh, kind of like a bit of a scoop going on. Did you design that or Marcus? Um, Marcus did. I'm still working with BMG and Sonova. Like, BMG do paddles and fins. Sonova do paddles and surfs ups, so this kind of a, we're trying to make it a pool specific paddle. Yep. So big heavy catch, clean entry. Um, so when you slap it at the water, it still has good technique, basically. Doesn't yeah, look yeah. big. Yeah, it's, it's it's similar size to the Sonova one I have, which I've used a lot of. Um, but the scoop makes it makes it a lot bigger. It's like a like a spoon. Yeah. You know, it catches catches more water, water instead of peel off the side. It also holds it in the water. So like it doesn't flutter at all, yep. it just sort of holds and goes through. Mm -hmm. So it's a really solid, clean catch. But um, yeah, this is the first product. Cool. Sizes or no? Uh, one size to start with. Yeah. I'm pushing for another size. But what is it? We didn't even know, we even measured it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the medium. <laughs> Good old Why coat falls. <laughs> Uh, give us your thoughts. Hey, though, it was definitely the easiest, like, night and day. I think the current stopped a little bit, so it's not a controlled, super controlled variable, but this was way easier to get going, and um, hard to know how it went once I was up, because I was using all my speed to get up, and when I was up, sort of run out of um, water. Runway. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, it, it, it's kind of a perfect to be using a foil that you can only just paddle up because in the 7.2 I could only just do it 7.6 was easier 8 foot was like much much easier kind of obvious but it confirms the obvious yeah which I think is good yeah could you paddle up that foil on your old boards I've done it once in the flat water a little bit of wind behind me so so, it's, it, on the so, it's, so yeah I guess it's a success then right yeah yeah yeah, so, Sweet. yeah, sort of, same way 7.2 was harder than 7.6, the 6.10 was harder than 7.2. Um, but it's hard to say because different water. Yeah. You know, flat yeah. water is hard to come by. Yeah. Like, pure flat. Here in Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet.